Dear colleagues, in this video, I want to show direct chop and the use of posterior capsule protector. Posterior capsule protector is an instrument which has been designed by me for prevention of posterior capsular rent during emulsification of the last nuclear fragment. This is the first case. By this time, the nucleus has been chopped into several fragments and some fragments have been emulsified and taken out. And now, during the emulsification of the last nuclear fragment, the instrument that will be used is PCP that is posterior capsule protector. It has a curvature which conforms to the curvature of the posterior capsule. Here it is. The instrument is introduced through the side port. It can easily go through one millimeter side port place it over the posterior capsule and very safely you can emulsify the last nuclear fragment. This is the last bit of the nucleus. It has been emulsified and removed. Now this is the second case. Little harder nucleus. The tip is embedded into the substance of the nucleus and this is direct chop direct particle chop when you place the phaco tip at the center of the nucleus and bring the chopper just in front of the phaco tip and then chop it becomes vertical chop now, this is the last nuclear fragment. This time, I want to use PCP because, see, there is no support of epinucleus, particularly in these cases. When there is no cushion of epinucleus, this instrument becomes of help. Here it is. Place the PCP just over the posterior capsule and below the phaco tip and emulsify the last nuclear fragment. So the PCP is a very good instrument and for beginners this is a boon. It is rounded all around. It has got a contour which conforms to the contour of posterior capsule and can be very easily used through the sideboard. This nucleus is little harder but it has been chopped nicely and the nuclear fragments are being emulsified. Nucleus of this hardness needs phaco power of about 65% in Oatley's Catrix 3 phaco machine. Now, see, this is the last nuclear fragment. It is being eaten up partially. Yes. And now I'm going to use the PCP, posterior capsule protector. I remain in this position. And now I place the PCP under this nuclear fragment and over the posterior capsule.
yes it takes a little longer time because but if you want to take this precaution you have to spend this few more seconds about 30 seconds more thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in your practice